the cinema. You go for the experience, the big screen, surround sound and for the latest blockbuster movies. But the cinema these days is getting very expensive. I mean, I know here in the UK, a ticket nowadays is... Actually, I don't even know because I haven't been to the cinema in, in donkey years, but I know it is a lot more pricey than it used to be. So what's the next best thing? Well, you could get a proper, you know, cinema projector, but that's gonna cost you thousands and thousands of pounds. You could get a normal home cinema projector, but they're still quite expensive and, well, projectors are good and bad. You need to have a dark room in order to really enjoy it and you still need to hook up the whole surround sound. But what if you want the cinema experience? Now these quotations are very important. <laughs> but you don't have the budget for the home cinema system and all you have is your mobile phone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you get this. The Smartphone Projector 2.0. <laughs> now, this bad boy is a fully fledged projector for your smartphone. No wires. I mean, look, even says cinema in a box. What more can you want? Cinema in a box. Little picture at the back, you've got the projector itself and a uh, glass of whiskey or scotch. I, I'm not much of a drinker, I don't know, but I mean, <laughs> it's a novelty item, let's be honest. But that doesn't mean it can't be half decent. That doesn't mean that you can actually enjoy it on the odd occasion. Now this cinema glory for your smartphone cost me £8.54 pence delivered. That's from online. Um, I have seen them actually in these gadget stores and they were around £20 there, so definitely online is the way to go. And that equates to roughly $11-ish delivered, so... I mean, very cheap, let's be honest. So even if it displays a kind of faint image, I will be impressed. I mean, the back says, Get more from your mobile movies and photos with the Smartphone Projector 2.0. I wonder what the Smartphone Projector 1.0 was. <laughs> Just slip in the lens, pop in your phone and enjoy mobile content at home or on the go at up to 8 times magnification. Comes assembled. On the go, I would love to see the person crazy enough to be, I don't know, on the train or bus and pull out their Smartphone Projector 2.0 and stuff. <laughs> But anyway, okay, let's crack it open, shall we? Look at that. You got the whole little getting started guide printed on the actual cardboard. I like that. That's, you know, saving the planet and all that, not wasting paper. Very good. What else do we have? Oh my God, it's actually made out of cardboard. <laughs> it's genuine cardboard. No wonder it was only eight pounds. Right. Well, that's that's all that's in the box. You have the instructions in the box and then you have the actual projector itself. So I'm going to put the box to one side because I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory. As you can imagine, being cardboard, there's nothing in there. Um, it's it's very... <laughs> They have fake output <laughs> on and off, on and off switch. That is printed on. That's not a real on and off switch. I mean, there's no electrical components in this. This is quite literally a box, a cardboard box with, you know, a fancy kind of decal on it. And that's about it. Right. I mean, as you can imagine, it's very light. It is made out of cardboard. So you pop it open, I assume. Uh, it opens like that, does it? Uh, here we go, see? Look at that. Inside, you have what resembles a... Uh, well, something that holds your toilet tissue. <laughs> you have these kind of suction pads. You know? You have... The thing that makes it all possible, the lens. Now this is basically it. All it is, is a lens. Um, you could make this at home, if I'm, if I'm being entirely honest. A cardboard box and this lens right here, you don't really want to touch it, I've just got a fingerprint on it. But this lens right here, you see that? Yeah? 
it's my eye really big that lens right there that makes it all possible that's literally it so the rest is quite quite literally just a cardboard box with a hole in it that <laughs> That, that, that's all there is to it. I mean, I wish I could explain more about it, but that's quite literally it. Anyway, let's figure out how to do it, okay? So. Okay, so first you assemble the lens. Quite easy. So this thing, just, I don't want to get a fingerprint on it, because you can't actually get it all the way in without, you know, giving it a good Ah, oh, there we go. Right, you just gotta, don't worry, it won't break. Just push it in, give it a good amount of force. A nice wipe, there we go. That's the lens assembled. And now you quite literally stick the lens into, into the cardboard box. So that's, that's basically it. I don't know what this is for, but I'm assuming this is to stick your phone out. Yeah, of course. So your phone goes on the back of this and you've got a little sticky pad that you can stick it to the actual cardboard box. Right. I guess that's it. And then dim the lights and see what we got. Okay, let's give it a shot. Right, so I've got a YouTube video, one of my YouTube videos. And then that goes, okay, so you need to stick this to your phone. Let's get that good. This ain't the best thing in the world, to be honest. But they could have, you know, I don't know, something a bit more... I mean, that's not, that's not going to work, is it? All right, they want me to rinse it off with a bit of water. What I do have with me is an air duster and some cleaning wipes. So, I'm gonna air dust this. Look at that, it's frozen. <laughs> it's actually frozen him, jeez. So let's give it a good. Oop, what have I done? There we go. Nice, good, clean. What makes the magic happen? So all the illumination comes from your phone screen. So you want it nice and clean. They work very well, actually. That is, that is decent. There we go. In the bin. Right. That's that done. There we go. And line it up nicely now it, they don't give you any indication of how the phone should sit so I'm just gonna I don't know put it roughly where it where it says now get out YouTube Start playing. I want you to picture this. You're traveling to some place, you're on the train, on the bus, whatever. Right, we stim the lights. The camera can't even pick that up, that is ridiculous. Okay, I just tried it, but I could see an image, but it was really, really faint. So obviously, I'm doing something wrong. If my brightness is at 100%, done. Distance zero to one meter, that I was definitely under a meter away. Maybe I put the lens the wrong way round. Oh, there we go, it's coming out. Oh, jeez, okay. They don't recommend you do that in the instructions. <laughs> All right, let's give that a clean again. All right, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna just play around with it. Maybe it will work, okay? You have to hold it really close to the, to the wall in order for even the slightest bit. Well, now I've just got the whole thing out. Very cheap, I'm gonna be honest. Very, very cheap and weird. Plastic is extremely 
That's as good as it's gonna get. It's it's a shame because okay, to be fair, to be fair, that test is not great because the camera for the life of it, it just can't pick up pick up what it what I was seeing. Now what I was seeing was yes, you can actually watch a video on this. I'm not gonna lie, you can watch a video on this. But the video I was playing, my video, was like this one, where it's very well illuminated, right? There's a lot of light on me right now. The video in general is quite bright. And it was still quite faint. Um, if you were watching a movie, which movies generally aren't that bright, depending on the type of movie, you get a lot of dark scenes, you know? Honestly, you're not going to be able to see jack all. I mean, this is... I can't even call it a novelty gift. <laughs> Genuinely, it is... It's junk. It is it's something you could build at home very easily, and you could probably build something even better. Um, the only part which isn't just laying around your house is the actual lens. But let's face it, you can order this online for probably a pound, two pounds maybe. It, it's, not, it's not an expensive bit of kit. Um, you're paying for, you know, a gag, gag gift. That's what it is, it's a gag gift. Don't actually think you can genuinely watch movies on this and you can enjoy a cinematic experience and there's no way you're gonna be able to take this on the go. No, this is, the <laughs> it's it's definitely not that. So don't, don't be fooled by the marketing on it. The best use you're gonna have out of it is, um, putting something in the box, taping it up, putting an address onto it and sending it off to someone else. That is the best use out of this product, a cardboard box. <laughs> then again, it's not that much more pricey than an actual cardboard box. So I guess it ain't all bad. It's funny, it's a laugh, but that's it. Maybe with a different phone, this is the 7 Plus, not 7 Plus, the 7, sorry. Maybe with the 7 Plus, a bigger screen. Because this is, in general, smartphone terms, this has got a small screen now. Um, maybe it might be a bit stronger. Well, that was disappointing. Um, let's hope on the next review, I actually have something worth recommending. <laughs> But otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do turn on notifications, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. All that stuff helps me out loads. I got lots, lots, lots more stuff to show you. So until next time, feed your mind.